the war between Israel and Hamas, thousands of demonstrators took to the streets just outside the White House yesterday, calling for the end to the Israeli military action in Gaza. And ABC's Patrick Rival is in Tel Aviv, where thousands of people are rallying again, demanding the hostages be freed as the war marks 100 days. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, Rand. And yeah, it's been 100 days since Hamas's October 7th massacre triggered Israel's devastating war in Gaza. Behind me here in Tel Aviv, thousands of people have been rallying to support over the, the 100 hostages still held by Hamas in Gaza. It's still such a live issue here. The situation in Gaza is catastrophic, though. The UN says 1.9 million people, 85% of Gaza's population, have now been displaced. And there are now warnings that over half a million are now starving, with famine looming. Nearly 24,000 Palestinians have been killed, according to Gaza's Hamas-run health ministry. Such is the destruction that for the first time, Israel has found itself this week defending itself at the International Court of Justice against charges of genocide brought by South Africa. Israel vehemently rejects that allegation. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu last night in a speech to mark 100 days was defiant that the war against Hamas will continue. But despite the devastation, Israel is still far from achieving its goals of defeating Hamas or freeing the hostages. Most Israeli officials signal that the fighting is going to go on for months more. Gia? No end in sight just yet. Patrick, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.